Hello guys. Welcome to Next Logics Tutorials. In this video, you will learn React.js events. You will see how to store the data in the database. For that, need a component and an API. Also, we will see data bindings with React.js. Let me create a component. Let me save this component to new file. To create the user component is now ready. I have a HTML form. Let me copy from Notepad. Every component has to be the parent div. Before we continue I strongly recommend you to see my Laravel videos. Now I am going to create the parent blade file. Let me show you. Let me create the new resource controller to show the users and create form.
because app ID is not found on the create form page that's why form not showing. Now, we need to define the component data in state, like name, email, and password. This is the data binding. When data component updates it will automatically update the name field. Let me update the all other fields. We need to make three methods to call the related fields. If text box value is changed state data will be update. React.js did not understand for attribute of HTML. We need to update with HTML4. As I expected this error, every method of component if event occurs should be bind the method to event. Also I called the wrong method to set value. Correct method is the set state.
name, email, and password is set to the component state data and we get the data from the form submit. Now, we need to create the post request API to store the data into the database. Axios library uses to pass the HTTP requests. I am passing the form data to API. Ajax request passes to the API and we get the response of user model. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe my channel to get latest uploads.